Here we are in Harcastle Crags. Harcastle Crags is one of the steep sided valleys that we have in Calderdale. So overall Calderdale is known as a rapid response catchment and rapid response as the name suggests means that we can have very quick flood events which can happen over a very short space of time. December 2015 we had the probably record floods in the Calder Valley and a number of people came together, local residents, engineers, landscape architects, hydrologists. And we started to look at the catchment uh, as a whole. After the, the flood, I thought, well, what is it we can do to try and assist the situation? So I began installing one or two um, plateways on some land I own above Peckett Well and um, measuring the, the differences in the flow rates. And that was really the genesis of uh, the slow flow. I met uh, Robin Gray and several others and we put a team together and then we, we thought we'd, we'd look for some projects to do. At that time there was uh, a lot of talk about natural flood management. We looked at schemes both in Stroud and in Pickering where they'd use different natural techniques uh, and these we brought into the Calder Valley. We're starting work with the, uh, the National Trust but the National Trust also want to do their bit in Hebden Bridge and what that means is managing the woodlands in a different way so that we can actually um, reduce flooding. We decided that we couldn't just sit back and not do anything, we had to kind of understand why the Calder Valley flooded uh, and so we, we started to do uh, what we, we term river surveys uh, along all the main, main stretches of river and all the little tributaries that fed in to the main stretches of rivers along the valley and we had countless volunteers doing that probably for a year and that data then has been fed into the river modelling that's been carried out in association with the Environment Agency. Here Highcastle Crags was the obvious choice because um, there was a, a compliant landowner, the National Trust, um, who was willing to have work done. So I then put a report together and, and submitted it to um, the Environment Agency. And, and they were happy to back it as a, as a pilot project. One more big one. Uh, yeah, we'll put it in front here this yeah. side. So yeah. since 2017, we've been installing leaky woody dams in some of the streams here to try and slow some of the flow. We're using traditional woodland management techniques, using Nathan, uh, a working horse to access parts of a woods that you could never reach with machinery. And Nathan is part of traditional techniques of woodland management in the valley. So what is a leaky woody dam? A leaky woody dam is a random arrangement of logs in a, in a stream course and the, the purpose of which is to push out the water out of that stream course and onto the woodland floor. What that means is there is more permeability available for water to be absorbed by the ground if you can get it out onto the woodland floor. So that's really the, the idea behind it. And if you can get it out onto the woodland floor then the water is slowed because there's more friction on it. So it arrives at the main river channel much slower than it otherwise would have done. So we, effectively what we've done is we've reduced the peak of the hydrograph so that our towns don't flood. We are in the Crags, Harcastle Crags today uh, with about 30 volunteers uh, who are now building the uh, leaky dams further up the channel and also we're doing the gully stuffing. So we're finding all the logs and um, the twigs and, and all the kind of detritus on the valley floor which is going to be put into the, into the gully which then raises the level of the water in a, in a peak flow in a big rainstorm and it takes it out of the gullies onto the bank and it soaks then into the bank as opposed to finding its way into the main channel of the river further downstream. We've had a, a variety of volunteers over the last two or three months. We've had uh, people as young as uh, 10 who were here a few weekends ago with their families and we've had people all the way up into their 70s who uh, have 
taking great delight in stuffing the gullies. Obviously some of the leaky dam work is, is quite a bit heavier, but the, the stuff, gully stuffing is, is ideal for the very old or the very young because it's not lots of heavy lifting. Each and every woody debris dam also has other beneficial impacts. It's not just about slowing the flow. Sediment drops down at the back of these dams and that sediment is stopped from going into the main water course. So we're improving water quality for invertebrates in the main river. By taking out some trees, we're actually allowing light onto the forest floor. Uh, that means there's more vegetation on the forest floor. Uh, and that's beneficial because we have 50% of the species in the woodland are actually made up of what we call ground flora. And that ground flora is actually slowing the flow as well. So all sorts of multiple benefits from this kind of work. And it also helps reduce surface water flooding. And about 50% of the property, properties in Calderdale were flooded not because of a river, but because of surface water flooding. We've got a big scheme happening, big engineered scheme in the communities of Mythenroyd, Hebden Bridge and Todmorden. But actually this kind of work, actually up in the catchment where the source of the floods is, might be able to reduce the height of the walls, say, by five centimetres. And that can actually have a dramatic reduction in terms of the costs of engineering. Because we've got a 33 million pound scheme. So spending a little bit of volunteer effort on the, on the woods in Hardcastle Crags could help reduce the costs and reduce the flood impact in the communities downstream. If we can take 10% off the flood peak, then that might mean that some of the flooding is not as extensive as it otherwise would have been um, without the, with the woody debris in place. Uh, I think if we can do that, then there will be uh, properties that are safe from flooding.